Hey guys, this is Helldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and I decided to make this video something, uh, a little something I found out that I wasn't sure how to do, and I figured I would just share it here, since it's kind of relatively important. Now, I'm still on this uh, the easy game here, just to give a little background. Um, I went and did the Monster Mash through the Von Karstein's territory. I took out two of their major castles, and uh, I think uh, one of them is Cans uh, Castle Drakenhof, and there's one just to the north, uh, northwest a little bit. So, uh, what had happened was, I went through that little pass there, and I just started crushing their cities, but I didn't take them. Um, I would just... Uh, raise them and that was it. Well, the Empire wound up moving in and has pretty much cut their little area in two between uh, the Vampire Counts and the Von Karsteins. Um, so, I, after a little while, after going back and forth uh, for a, a lot of turns, I just wound up pulling back into my little section. I was just going to do my own thing. I rearranged some stuff on my armies. And on the... Um, Lord's screen, when, where you can assign weapons and whatnot, um, you get banners. Now, some of them say that they have to be assigned to a unit. And it took me a while to figure this out after looking online and, and messing with it a little bit. And here's where that happens. It happens on the battle screen. Your banners here um, are assignable to units. Now, as you can see, I put the Banner of Swiftness on one of my giant spider units, and I put my Magic Resist on my Lord. All you have to do is left-click, hold it, hold the button down, and move it to the unit that you want. Now, it's not movable, as you can see here. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so it is movable. So, <laughs> I didn't try that before. So, all you do is hold the left, mu uh, left mouse, mouse button down, and there you go and drop it on there. If you want to remove it, double click it, and off it goes. I hadn't tried that before I started recording, so I look like kind of an idiot now, but uh, there you go. So they're all assigned. So um, back to the main story, though, they decided they were going to be cute. I've been kicking these two people around for, this will be the, the fifth or sixth time that they'll die at my hands. Now, he had a lieutenant, but I assassinated him uh, right before I initiated the battle. As you can see here, he's got a uh, corpse car bail fire with a little bit of rank, and he's got a lovely little uh, dragon in here with some uh, rank, and he's got his uh, Vargulf. So, it's going to be interesting. They're taking attrition damage. That's why they all have damage on them. And then I have this lovely little uh, two-banger spider uh, monster mash here. I have a couple of lobbers, a couple of catapults, and then I've been really messing with these guys a lot, the Black Orcs. They are very good. Even when you're down a little bit in this battle deployment, they can swing the tide of the battle with absolutely no problem. So anybody that ever plays these guys... Now, granted, this is my first actual, like, real playthrough, serious playthrough. Um, I do recommend Goblin Ar the Night Goblin Archers. The difference between them and the regular archers is, in my opinion, the biggest... Uh, well, there's two two things. Unless you have something that lets you put goblins out in vanguard, these guys automatically go out in vanguard. Now, what that means is, is that they get to deploy out farther into the field, and these guys have a poison attack, which is very key. It's very important. I have gotten a lot of use out of them. Um, I like having these guys around... Um, I've been running less and less with cavalry. I only denote like two to four spots to cavalry, depending um, what the army is going to be made up of. But these guys, it's definitely good to have some sort of cavalry, at least two in an army, in my opinion, because what it'll do is it'll harry one of the random mobs, either like like bats or another cavalry, uh, a flying something. It just kites them around. But the only thing that you have to be careful of is that if they get messed up with another ground unit, uh, like knights, or another um, rider unit, they get, they'll get bogged down. So you have to stay, the archers usually will try to like stay at range, but sometimes they can get cornered and get bogged down. And it's a pain in the butt to pull them out. Um, I've had the 
our, uh, the Arrow Boys around for a little while. As you can see, they have a little bit of rank on them. I'm not in a real big hurry to, to dump them. Um, I'm just kind of supplementing the Goblin Archers with them. Six ranged non-cavalry um, is probably a bit much. I could probably dump them off. But they do supplement these guys, I've noticed, in battle nicely. Like, they can lock the army up. And even though they will shoot their own, um, if these guys are getting outnumbered, it's definitely a good idea to have some of the ar some of the archers around. And then this little guy throwing around his magic, that's always fun. So, um, these guys just go in and chew things up, and everybody else just kind of helps them. Um, they can take a real beating, the spiders. I definitely like them, and I just built up uh, giants around my um, area. So I do have an army with giants I'm going to record with. I probably could have built them a little faster, but I had been in like a 30 or 40 turn war with the Von Karsteins. So it took a little bit of time to kind of decide what I wanted to do since I was kicking them around so well. Um, I will note, though, that the Von Karsteins, fighting them in there because of their vampiric corruption is kind of a pain in the butt unless you go underway with uh, the Greenskins, which you have to, your turns, for those that don't know, your turns when you move, you don't just move, you jump. But you're also susceptible to ambushes. Like, I was trying to get a wounded army back. It didn't only have, like, three or four units in it, and they did get ambushed. So... It was bad because they wound up losing, but, I mean, it was a pretty interesting learning experience. But I do, as overall, I do like the Greenskins. Um, they have some pretty beefy units, especially early on. The metagame can get a little, if you don't stay up with updating units, and what I mean by that is maybe going with some of the, the Night Archers over the regular Goblin Archers. If you don't start working in... Uh, the Black Orcs and the bigger Orc Boys, you can run into into some problems, and that that would be with any kind of with with, with any kind of um, other faction, whatever their upgrades are. But it really kind of hampers the Greenskins, in my opinion. And definitely getting the catapults as fast as possible is very key because they do have a longer range than the than the lobbers, and there are things that you can do to increase uh, their reload time and their the amount of ammo they carry through. Uh, research and whatnot, but uh, you do start with one catapult as greenskins, and it's really, um, it's really kind of key. So, uh, okay, so they're coming from that. They're not going to make it. This guy's going to get decimated. He's going to get worked. So I'm going to play a little bit more aggressively here with him, because he doesn't have the catapult. Or she doesn't. I've been kicking this woman around for freaking days. Alright. Uh, I'm going to move him to there. Actually, I'm going to move him back a little bit. else up. Nope. Alright, so now it's just about getting these guys... See, they have a massive range. Because I did do an upgrade so that they do have a, a bigger range than what they start out with. So, I'm not even going to mess around. Um... How do I want to do this? I'm going to set the Arrow Boys there. They're just going to launch like there's no tomorrow. Um, now what I am going to do is... Alright, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to load out this side a little bit. In expectation of intercepting them. So pretty much... This is going to deal with them 
from this spider here, and then these guys are just moving up to set up for that army. And what I want to do is, if I can, I'm going to circle around. And hopefully they'll just follow this little path in, and they'll get swallowed. Alright, where are you? Now I can just do the grab, and in they go. Okay, see, they're getting bogged down a little bit, so I'm going to run them out. Yep, he's going right for my lord. And as you can see, those, those spiders, they don't mess around. to intercept. Yep, he sees what's happening. Nope. And he's going to make it in. Son of a... Yeah, I saw that coming. Alright. You guys need to pull back. Where are you going? No, you're going to be left to the archers. Oh, maybe you could go ahead and kill him. And the first line is through. Yep, they're going to deal with him. Alright, well somebody's going to try to be cute. 
I'm backstabbing here. What is that? Oh. Yeah, stop messing with him. Now we're just going to launch into him. I don't even care. Let him feel a little bit of the pain. Okay, if I can get him out... Yeah, we should be able to. Let him fill in as he's moving out. Turn them to melee and let them have their way with her. What? What are you doing? They can deal with her. I don't even understand how he got in, but okay. All right, is he finally going to go down or? I mean, he's just jumping all over my catapults. What, What is happening here? And that's going to pretty much be the end of them. She went down. That's that. Well, it cost me a little bit more than I thought it was going to, but everybody pretty much survived. Still only lost 351, they lost 1300. So almost 10 to 1, in my opinion, is pretty good. Yeah, he ran like a scared schoolgirl. That's the only reason he uh, made it away. But we're going to make sure that he doesn't uh, live to tell. So, that's that. Um, that's uh, how that game goes. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you see something you like, please like and subscribe. Come back and check out my other videos. Uh, and thanks for watching. See how much we get out of uh, Captain Fancy Pants here. Nice. Now, one of the other things I do, I never do this because that minus three fightiness um what that means is is that at least for this faction they start getting like un discontent and you actually take attrition damage which attrition you will it's like running through corruption you'll start to take damage on your guys now in order to fix that once the fightiness gets to roughly that line there unruly you can do something to kind of get them back in line but you got to slap them around and you actually kill, can kill some of them so it's not good to like you want to stay in this region because if you can stay up in here when you're fighting one of the cool things that the, that the green skins have is you can get a wah army and what that is is it's a total complete 20 unit army 
mixed with different units that's at your command. So you can't, but you can't interact with it. You can't t give or take units, but you can send it off to attack. So one of the other important things I wanted to say about that, I'm glad I started talking about that. If you send a Wa army into a uh, city that you are thinking about attacking, it will just attack. You can't tell it to hold off. So, but if you, say you take an army uh, with a lord and you start to um, besiege it, the Wa army will stand by. So when whether the the computer or you initiate the battle, that Wa army will show up as your um, reinforcements. So it's kind of it, there's kind of an order of operations that you have to do, but it, it's definitely I like the green skins. It's kind of cool. But getting back to this, I never ransom because of the three fightiness. Um, you can go with leadership, but I have enough little tools and trinkets to help with leadership, so I don't really worry about it. I always eat them because it replenishes. And this, I've done things to make sure that I can get like a plus. I have two banners in this army. Uh, no, not in this army. In one army, I have two banners where I have plus 30% uh, captives. So that will reflect in when I go to eat the captives, I will get more healing back from it. And as you can see, the ye little yellow line coming off of the green, that's how much they're going to heal as soon as I hit this button. So a lot of a lot of my units are just going to automatically almost heal to full or almost at full. So, yep, she died. Uh, and now, uh, and I got the pit bot. That's the follower that you get. Now, the thing that I was talking about earlier is right here. This is where the banners are. Now, um, let me see there. It says, you know, magic resistance assigned unit. So, like I said earlier, that's where that winds up getting assigned. And this is where all of your fancy pants little stuff that you can assign. And uh, when you assign something, it shows the portrait of the Lord that has it. So, um, I think that's, yeah, and then the skills, yeah, the, the skills will add certain things to your army, like, I have to get the third one of that, but some of these do have one point, two point, and three points. Now, I realize that it's sitting on your computer screen and you should be able to see it, but I didn't realize for a little while, I thought that when you took it, you had it. What you do, like that guy, you just take it, you have it. I didn't, I wasn't sure what this meant, and yeah, even though it says right there, next level, I just... Why, why read? Reading's hard. So, I was making stupid mistakes and not doubling up or, or go or, or tripling up on some. I should have, but I didn't. So, a little bit of a learning curve. You could probably say that's pretty dumb, but um, that's that. That's this video, and I just wanted to show stuff off. This is what my area looks like. I have all of these symbols, so I just made a nice little circle. And I'm thinking about expanding over, uh, uh, actually that's not the way you should be looking at it. There we go. So, I'm thinking about taking these two, and these dwarves have given me a little bit of the stink eye, so I'm thinking about going and beating their asses down. Now, when I had gone into the vampire area, as you can see, yeah, see, they're starting to take back some of their stuff. Um... Because this is originally Dwarven, I think. They have Dwarven names, at least. And the Empire just bisected. Just cut his... Just sliced him up. And moved into there. So now... Yeah, they're pretty bent out of shape at me. Be the Vampires are because of what I did. And the Empire has the second largest army in this particular game. So, pretty much, uh, yeah. At some point, I'm going to be introducing myself to the Dwarves. And maybe taking their stuff. Because they're giving me a little bit of the stink eye. Even though they're my allies. So, yep, that's this game and uh, this video, so thanks a lot, guys.